Hey guys, it's OKB, and this is State of Survival The Offer. Now, this is a zombie game, um, and you can get something like $20, $21, uh, somewhere around there, to get to level 21 in your headquarters, and this is your headquarters here, all right? Um, now, in order to actually access this offer, well, first of all, uh, you want to sign up through the links. There's going to be a swag book, my point, and then now um, it's gonna, there's going to be an inbox dollar sign up for this offer uh and this offer i'm choosing to show you guys this one first because it's the easiest but it, it pays the least but it's also the easiest and they also give you 21 days in case sometimes you can't play or something like that so you have a little bit of time all right this is this is kind of the gateway to build them up games because i i think you need a little bit of experience in order to do the higher offers where they're like 40 50 dollars and even one that's 65 dollars that's kind of difficult um only for the people who really care all right, so first of all, you want to sign up through Swagbucks, my points uh, referral link here. Um, both of us gets a bonus, about $3 if you sign up through my link um, and actually do an offer. So you have to like, finish the offer and, well, state of survival, this one is going to be your offer. So if you sign up through my points, um, I'm starting off with my points first because it seems to be more reliable. Uh, Swagbucks has a bad habit of randomly banning people because they think they're bots or something. That might happen. You have to like... You have to send them a request, contact, and a reply in an email. So I'm going to start with my points because it's much more uh, reliable. All right. um, Swagbox, it's not like they, they're they going to shut you out completely, but it just takes time. And some people don't, are not patient enough. All right, in, swag, uh, in my points, if you, you first go through the link, right? And then you go, uh, you go to discover uh, deals. And then you, the category is um, entertainment. And then we're, now we're now in entertainment. And then you want to look for state of survival uh, or survival, probably a better word here. And you, I think it's all the way down. You have to scroll all the way down uh, until you get to. Ebony is pretty good, by the way. That's I'm going to show you guys that later on. Uh, survival. Where is this? Where are you? Oh, there's two. Where can I find you? Oh, there we go. Uh, it's, it, you have to scroll all the way down and look for state of survival. All right, 3,000 points is about $20. Um, and yeah, just click on this after you sign up. And then, yeah, send, if you're on a computer, they'll ask you for an email or a phone link to link. And if you're on your phone, they just give you a Google Play and you click on that. And then it takes you directly to download. So that's pretty easy. Swagbucks is the same thing. So you're going to discover um, games. I'm pretty glad that they have uh, this category now. I think survival is also going to be down low. All right. Uh, oh, not really. It's also twenty dollars. You just click on this. Same thing. Twenty. Uh, head worst, headquarter twenty one in twenty one days. You actually only need to get to twenty. They pay out at twenty, so that's nice to know. Um, it's a big difference actually. Uh, and then also, if you want twenty one dollars, because this offer was actually already up on, I believe it's Ad Gem. So if you're on Swagbucks. My points doesn't give us much when you do this, but when you're on add gem, uh, let's cancel this out. I believe there's also an Android and an iOS offer. doesn't matter. They give you $21 and this does pay out. Um, now there's sometimes there's like a double SB where they double everything, but they don't actually, even, even if they double everything, um, if you try to do this offer during the, in, during the double event, they still give you just $21. So don't expect $42, all right? But yeah, $21 is better. Um, usually, you know, usually my points and Swagbucks is more reliable. And then these other ones are slightly less reliable, but I've been paid from this, so this works. All right, those are the three ways. Um, I've seen it on inbox dollars on and off. And this is, I'm going to make a guide on inbox dollars later on. But um, sometimes... Uh, the offer is up here, and they also give just as much. Uh, Inbox Solos is like an alternative. If you've already done the offers on the other ones, just make sure to use a different Google account, etc. Okay, so those are the three different places that you can go. There's probably other places that don't pay as much, though. So, um, yeah, just to stick with these three. Now, how do you get to 21? So I'm going to go back here again. All right, so this is the game. Um, you're going to start off inside. This is the inside of your little settlement they call it <coughs> now headquarters uh you want to get to level 21 and when you upgrade them they have some requirements resources right resources are pretty easy there's food there's wood there's metal and gas those are just the four resources that exist metal and gas come later and they're more rare than well food and 
wood. Uh, and each time you upgrade, you have to have the same level of hero precinct and a random building, which a random military building. So uh, hero precinct is this thing, and that is very important actually because it gives you it gives the heroes a higher maximum level, which you know, heroes are pretty important um, for when you send out troops or when you're battling in a more well three versus three versus zombies sort of thing. There's two types of battles, and heroes are important for all of them. All right. Um, so yeah, this is the most important thing. So whenever you upgrade stuff, headquarters first, but the headquarters require um, a hero precinct. So hero precinct is second. And then there's these three. And uh, when you start out the game, they're going to be like randomly all, all over the place. You want to move them together so that you know what everything is. All right, these three give you different types of troops. You want to balance them out, so it's fine. So the next, so after you, uh, let's say you're upgrading your hero precinct, all right? There's a second slot here that you can open up with, uh, these are called bio caps. They're basically the coupons of this game or the ingots of this game. Um, and they're here and you get them randomly from outside and some random events and stuff. Uh, but yeah, you always want to keep 500 here um, to open up this slot for two days. So. I'm gonna have to let's see upgrade my hero precinct. Oh, I already did. So I'll be upgrading this, uh, the headquarters, upgrade that, and then my, in my second slot, I will probably do one of these. Um, these are important because you guys see here uh, when you're upgrading, it requires a level nine garage, right? At level ten, it might be a level ten barracks or a level ten range, and a level eleven will be another level eleven barracks or range or something like that. So. These military, uh, these military buildings are third. Number four, um, if you've upgraded all these military buildings, but these are still, you're still waiting to build this stuff, uh, it's research labs and research is pretty important. Actually, it's very important. Um, in fact, you might actually wanna do research before military sometimes, all right? Um, and that's because there's, a div there's three areas, but the most important is development. Uh, these, you guys can see, incre increase your construction speed. That's incredibly useful. Um, and then the research speed is also pretty helpful. And then, uh, if you keep on going on, it's just the middle, the middle part is really useful. Leadership unlocks another queue. That's also really important. Basically anything in the middle, super important, but in order to get something in the middle, you need at least one level on both sides. Uh, now the, the, like the bottom parts are also kind of important. The top parts are, it's okay. You know, um, but yeah, the, the middle and then the bottoms are the one of the most important ones battle it's okay you know like um after you upgrade your research lab it, it's really fast to upgrade your battle and your economic um as much as i like economics they it doesn't give us much you know they up they're upgrading stuff like there you see these food and wood outposts they give you food and wood but they're not that helpful like you get most of your resources from outside all right Anyways, when you first start out, oh, right, last, lastly, all right, so after the research, after the, after the headquarters, headquarters, uh, hero precinct, the military people, um, the research lab, and then you want to think about assembly points, because um, when you're in an alliance, uh, people can help you. When you upgrade your assembly points, more people can help you um, at one time. So when I'm upgrading a building, like I'm upgrade, uh, upgrading this thing, there's a help button, I can click on that. And uh, as you can see in this info, how many times can people help you? Um, how long, how much help are they gonna give? How many seconds are they gonna take off that building right here? Uh, that's kind of important, I guess. So, so that's the next most important. And then it's the command station, which is useful for um, rallying. And like the more, the higher level your command station is, uh, the more people can join you to attack this giant monster uh, infected thing, which gives you the most resources. So that is kind of important too. Okay, like there's no building that's unimportant except for the resource things. Um, the training camps are kind of nice. And then it, when you're upgrading, um, you might want to go here and to check if there's any buildings you can build. Uh, yeah, all right. Okay, and then uh, there's two different types of fighting, but you'll get through that in the tutorial. So I'm just telling you the order of buildings that you need to build in. Now let's go outside. I'm gonna talk about prosperity later, uh, which is up here. Wilderness. Now the wilderness is the outside. You get to the outside after you do the, like sort of the tutorial. Uh, now, I wanna keep in mind there's, in in your daily, so when you first start out the game, it's gonna take you an hour and something to 
go through and like build really fast and you'd get everything uh get everything leveled up and stuff like that because leveling up is really fast in the beginning right okay so um your daily routine is going to be list one there's uh this this is actually you also see this when you're inside but um these are story missions and story missions give you the necessary resources to do everything in the beginning at least um but yeah after you get to like chapter two ish um you don't have to worry about that as much intel which you're, you'll also unlock somewhere in the beginning of the, in uh, in the tutorial all right um you guys you guys see a variety of missions um you can only send one at a time except when you research so that's what the leadership on research is um when you usually research leadership then you can send two at a time um and i think there's a three at a time and a four at a time but you you probably only get to two and three at a time um you guys can see here i i just did this mission by the way there's a whole bunch of different types of missions um this is just gathering and you can gather as many as you want and super fast this is when you send three heroes to fight um and you have to be active this is a story mission it could be anything um and i the, the thing i just clicked on earlier was a send troops out mission uh and that's kind of what your military buildings is for you're you're creating troops right Okay, and then there's also a strength level breakthrough, which you need to, you know, kill level seven infected. Well, in order to get that strength level breakthrough, you want to go to search infected. And this is this is like the ones, right? Um, and then it says, okay, attack max level seven. It'll show you one. You can click on it. You can attack. Recommended troop power is pretty useful, by the way. I have 20,000. It needs 3,000. And then it requires en energy, which is pretty, you know, it's self-explanatory. All right, if you're lost, um, you can click on this button, error button, uh, to get back to where you are. Okay. Um, in general, so the number one thing you want to do daily to get resources and all that kind of stuff is Intel story missions as well. And then, um, when you have extra energy left over, you can go on infected fiends. And then, um, these guys give a lot of resources like bio caps, which is like the coupons or ingots of the game. Um, hero parts which is useful later hero fragments which is useful because you have to upgrade the heroes this is also necessary to the badges are also necessary to upgrade heroes so it's like the fragments and badges um and then there's a whole bunch of resources like tens of thousands of resources this is your main resource thing however one other person has to join you from your alliance all right Alliance is self-explanatory. Just join a good one. And if you if you feel like nobody else, nobody in the alliance is really helping you, or um, like when you're trying to rally these guys, nobody is coming, um, then you probably should switch alliances soon. Just level up and then switch, leave your alliance and come back. Okay. Uh, the store. I don't really need to mention too much about it. Um, free stuff every day here, in the biocap store. Um, there's some discounts sometimes. No, wait, the VIP store. VIP, VIP just is, ran, you randomly get it. So uh, it's it's good, but not necessary. But in the biocap store, there's a market stall um, where you can get like construction speed ups for biocaps, right? You always want to get the construction, skip the training and anything else. And then uh, if I do this, it'll give you a new one and you have a chance of getting a construction speed up. I always only go for the construction speed up um there's like very rare exceptions i guess but yeah uh that's the market stall for you uh there's events just you know follow the red dots like you can click on this guy skip and then you'll get hey day three i got a free sometimes it's bio caps which is uh the coupons sometimes it's a ninja it's kind of not not ninja sorry too much into naruto online um sometimes it's a hero and then lastly, we can talk about heroes. Uh, remember that Hero Precinct is the second most important building in the game. Um, that's because we have a maximum level. And Let's we can, do this. As, you know, when you send out people to fight, sometimes you'll get these and you upgrade them. Uh, but the most important part is actually um, upgrading their ranks, like second lieutenant or captain or something, right? They, those make the heroes much stronger. And you when you're trying to fight uh, in three, when you're trying to fight in a three hero thing versus zombies, this is really important. So yeah, uh, blue is, there's only actually two blue characters. They're the ones you get first, but they're important in the beginning, right? See how I need a level 10 precinct to upgrade again? Um, that's why they're important. Uh, and yeah, there's three, I think there's a rider, there's a infantry, and there's a at? 
uh, hunter. So you want to get a purple. Let's do this. You want to get a purple guy that's uh. Let's see. I think the what first thing you want to get is Travis, at? who's a writer slash hunter, right? He replaces day this guy, in paradise. and you get him through an event. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's not on right now, but um, if you go through the events, you'll also see they give rewards, right? You just follow the red dots. Sometimes they're just info. Sometimes they're rewards. Like this thing is a red dot. I didn't even know I was doing this, but uh, hey, cool. Some resources. Easy. Um, yeah. I think that's all I should tell you. Now, there's one last thing to talk about. So remember, just do your intels, do your story missions, and then do the infected fiends. And if your alliance is not joining you or you're not joining them, um, just switch to another alliance. All right, to get back inside, just click on this thing here. Uh, okay, last thing to mention is prosperity. If you're gone too long from the game zombies are going to take over your settlement you're gonna to have to kill them which is just you know a couple clicks um but then your prosperity goes down now you can you can see that uh when i'm trying to upgrade my headquarters i need prosperity right so if my prosperity goes below uh this amount i can't upgrade the building it can get really annoying sometimes um, zombies taking over will destroy your prosperity in order to recover it well you can upgrade stuff to increase your prosperity that's one and number two you can actually build so you go to build here um, you can actually get, build some decorations which it, it, here you can see uh, it says prosperity recovery right um, you don't want to you don't want, you don't want to use bio caps but um, yeah these guys recover your prosperity per minute and you just build a whole bunch of them and then um, it'll recover your prosperity I'm at half prosperity right now Luckily, I'm the beginning of the game, so um, I have enough prosperity. But in the later game, like you need to upgrade more more buildings to get the prosperity you need to upgrade headquarters. All right, all right, that's about it. Um, just go through one of the three links: uh, inbox, swag, or my points. And also for swag bucks, you want to look at I believe Ad Gem for a twenty-one dollar offer instead of twenty. Um, if you want to take the slightly higher risk. A bit get more and yeah that's it i'm gonna see you guys in the next offer this should be a good training offer for a much higher level offer um i'm gonna show you guys later 45 dollars, 50 dollars, 65 dollars, and that 65 dollar offer is a hard one but it's doable all right guys i'll see you guys in the next offer